Hey guys, welcome to Ratatouille Brief. Just a quick update. I just did a water test for nitrates. I wanted to share something with you that's kind of odd. All right, so, 100 and, by the way, don't forget to join our Facebook group. Link in the video description below along with everything that I use in this aquarium. You can purchase on Amazon if you want. Okay, back to the show. So, 125 gallon aquarium, saltwater tank, six feet long. I have a lot of tangs. These guys eat a lot and they go to the bathroom a lot. Now, that being said, I did a test for nitrates and I usually have nitrates between 30 to 40, which is bad. You want to have them around, you know, five or less because it's bad for the coral. The nitrogen cycle goes like this for you newcomers to the hobby. You feed the tank, the fish eat, they go to the bathroom. Uneaten food settles on the rocks and the sand, it breaks down. Their waste that they go to the bathroom, that breaks down, turns into ammonia. Ammonia turns into nitrites, and nitrites turn into nitrates. Along with nitrates being bad, uh, phosphates are bad in your tank as well. Hey baby, how you doing? Good girl. Hey, Leia. Hi, baby. Um, <clears throat> so, how do we get rid of phosphates and nitrates? A couple things. You vacuum your sand bed. You clean your tank. Well, I've got some algae on the back glass. Um, I've got some green hair algae that looks like green cotton. On the rock. What feeds green hair algae and algae? It's nitrates and phosphates. So I should have nitrates in this tank. I just did a test, look at this. Yellow, pure yellow, pure yellow, zero nitrates. Why? Why is that happening? It shouldn't be yellow. It should be somewhere in here. I don't know, I, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that you know, for the amount of green hair algae in here, what did I do that's different? I'm feeding once every other day, okay, and the fish don't mind it, it's totally fine, so I'm feeding less, which means less breakdown of food in the water. Also, the big thing that I did, I took out all my foam filtration. There's nothing sitting in the water column to collect nitrates or food. Sponges catch the food and the fish waste, and they usually sit in the water column, right? All that's gone. So now it's just water coming out of the tank, going into my DIY sump, which is a Rubbermaid container. It gets skimmed by this protein skimmer. I've got a second sump by eShop, so the second protein skimmer. So I have two protein skimmers. Between the two of them, I'm rated at 500 gallons of protein skimming for a 125 gallon aquarium. If you get a protein skimmer, which I highly recommend, you want to get at least double. So get a protein skimmer rated for like 250 gallons if you got 125. Well, this one's rated for 300. Can do the job just by itself. But I also have this one rated at 200. So, I haven't done a water change since I added both these protein skimmers on Thanksgiving, which is about a month now. Um, haven't done any carbon dosing, which is adding sugar to your tank, which is one teaspoon for every 60 gallons. I would just put some sugar in my sump, a teaspoon, two teaspoons a day, but I haven't done that in a month. So there's two reasons I can think why my nitrates are at zero, which don't doesn't make sense. The two protein skimmers, that's a big help feeding every other day once or but I can't figure out why is there still algae in the tank algae feeds off of nitrates and phosphates if there's no nitrates in this tank there should be close to no algae in there well I know that um, the presence of algae in an aquarium it feeding on phosphates and nitrates, it will literally lock up your phosphate and nitrate levels. So you won't get a pure test. So I'm wondering 
if I actually do have nitrates in here and because the algae is feeding off of it, it's locking it up and showing it at zero. May be the case. Maybe I'll dose a little sugar again to kill off maybe the nitrates that are undetectable because the algae is feeding on it. I've got the green hair algae here. You can't really see it, but it's there. It's at the top. See that? See it? So maybe because there's a little algae presence in the tank feeding off the nitrates, it's showing that I have zero nitrate reading. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. I may start sugar dosing. I'm going to put some in right now. Hey guys. There's my fox face. There's my naso tang. Looking good. There's my fowlery tang. There's my sailfin tang. Camera shy. I got five clowns in here. Okay, so let me just put some sugar in, I'll just show you. And all I feed is nori. I use Rod's food, nori, and Rod's food, frozen fish food. I'm gonna start slow with the carbon dosing. I'm gonna put one teaspoon in. There. You know what, I'll put two in because my tank is used to it. There you go. We'll just see what happens. Again, I don't have nitrates, but I got the green algae, so maybe the green algae is locking up this, the readings. I don't know. Um, I was using the Nopox Spice uh, Red Sea. I don't think I'm going to use that again because I had a bunch of red slime. This lowers the nitrates and the phosphates in the water. I don't think I'm going to go back to that again. I've got a full bottle. I may try it. I'm not sure. But as an update, it's all gone. The red slime is gone. It was in my tank, in my overflows. This is an overflow. The water flows from the top, goes into the overflow chamber, gets sucked up, and it goes down into the sump that you just saw with the two protein skimmers, where it gets filtered. Actually, there's no filtration, like I said. I'm only relying on my two protein skimmers and the one rod or tube. That's it. So, whoa, get down. Let me know what you guys think. And subscribe if you haven't.